good morning from day six in the drought. Beautiful. Leave that in, Logan. It's day number six. For me, day what? Three? Three. You've been here for six days. Six days of trout wrangling. It has been incredible. Today, the weather has changed. We're not going to need sunscreen. Possibly rain jackets. Oh, it's going to be nice, though. But the overcast conditions may be beneficial to where we're, uh, where we're about to head. We're Yesterday was good. We're, we're headed on a hog quest. We're headed on a hog quest. Looking for headed some big boys. Headed on a hog quest. Chael oh, just found a sure. giant hog rock. Ooh, hog quest, bro. Mmm, that fly lasted approximately four casts. Pretty hard to catch big fish, Chell, when you're just catching rocks all day. Case, what are we doing? We are going on a hog quest. We are, I'm putting some new uh, leader on because Chell was not down with my leader, but uh, we are going to fish the same section we fished yesterday, which we're hoping for the same results as we had yesterday because it was a phenomenal day. It was really good in the morning up on this top section and it slowed down a little bit but we still caught fish all day long which is great and then last night chill you guys saw i rode him into a giant right here <laughs> why do you keep laughing when i say that it was a really good looking fish okay i'm not going to judge him on his size his heart anything i'm just going to say he's a really nice fish probably a really nice guy too but i'm not going to judge him Second question from that equation, uh, let's clarify rowing him into a giant fish or a good fish. Rode him right into it. Casey's pretty proud of his rowing skills on a scale of uh, one to expert. Where do you think you rank there, Case? I rank at a one. That's why it was so awesome. I didn't tip us over and chill kind of a nice fish all on a, a level one rowing abilities. That's good. So Casey's getting a little work on the sticks. Maybe we'll see if he can take a little bit more of an intermediate section of the river this uh, this fine day. Dude, chill in this section. It's pretty rough. Look at this. There's a lot of obstacles. Chill was telling me park next to the log, park next to the log, or the rock. I'll give you a quick little glimpse of uh, where Ch Casey was rowing Chael into a good fish. So there, there you guys can see uh, there is a riffle on the really far edge but otherwise pretty difficult water conditions for rowing got a lot of obstacles to watch out for some <laughs> probably class four rapids right here but Casey put us right on the fish um, let me just say this uh, who else here has their canoeing merit badge <laughs> who else here has their rowing merit badge who else here has their Eagle Scout me you always want to go with an Eagle Scout because they're always prepared this morning when we were getting ready to put in, we saw this eagle come and land where we were going to be fishing. And then like a goose came flying by. Anyways, we're, we're just kind of quickly walking by, but you can see we're going to get out of here, let the goose get back on there. Didn't know there was a nest there, but that's awesome. I've never seen a goose nest like that. Those eggs are giant too. So things you see when you're out fishing or hunting. <laughs> here, Chell is going to demonstrate how to reel in a fish on the river. Oh, there he goes. Caught him, kissed him, let him go. Good job, Chell. It's fun watching a good fly fisherman out in the river. <laughs> Chell hooked up. Good, one. good fish. Good one. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, bud! Get that fish on film when he jumps. That's a good fish, man. Yeah! Oh, chill! Got him. That Dude. was meant to be. Big fish. That was meant to be. Chill just went on a hawk quest. Dude. <laughs> That's the one we were looking hell. for today, right? That's one of them. That's a nice. Look how thick. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> that was a full sprint over here. Yeah, we heard a hoot and a holler. I am so stoked right now. Dude. That's a beauty, that dude. Rad. I mean, it's only about a 23 inch fish, but it's thick. You know what it's I mean? It's right, too. Oh, yeah, it's dude. just a beautiful fish. Got it? <clears throat> it's been a slow morning, but uh, this makes it all worth it. That's for sure. That's what we're here. Look how healthy this fish is, too. Sometimes these fish are beat up in this fishery, and this one is just perfect. That is so pretty, so bright. I've never seen a bright one like Big that. Big fat tail. Ready? Yep. 
That fish was literally meant to be. We got dominated at the very first stop where yesterday we caught a ton of fish. Everybody was kind of bummed out. Chael decided let's mix it up, do something different. So he pulled over the drift boat. He tried to encourage Casey and myself to get out. And they're like, eh, we're cool, man. Why don't you go catch it? Hops over here. I said, you know what, Logan? Why don't you jump over there and just go film? And uh, within about three minutes, hooting and hollering, Casey and I sprinted over here just in time to uh, get that fish netted. But Casey said it earlier. I said, it's gonna take, this. today's that day, it's gonna be super slow, complete opposite of yesterday. We're gonna catch one fish, it's gonna change the day. Yep. And maybe well, two let's fish, more than let's one. do it. Well, that's what I'm saying though. Yeah. But you the gotta get started. Fish, now. I don't think anybody had a smile on their face no. until that fish got it. <laughs> that was, that's one of the prettiest <laughs> trout that I've seen yeah. in a long it's time. It's probably worth mentioning that this is our third or fourth night in a row with less than five hours of sleep. Yeah. We've just been waking up super early, trying to get the job done. So anyways, that one felt good. That nice. one felt good. Cause we lost a couple giants yesterday. So at least to get a good fish in the net, you know, that's not the biggest fish probably in the system, but it was beautiful and healthy. And you know, 23 inches, probably three and a half, four pounds. Oh, yeah. one, nice of the, fish. one of the prettiest. Yep. Jill and I have been fishing hard for six straight days. And yeah, I don't, we've definitely got no more than five hours of sleep on any of those days, but it's, uh, it's been fun. We've caught a ton of fish. The goal now is to get Casey a good fish. That's what the rest of the day is going to get focused on. I've caught a bunch, but I'd really like to see Casey hook into a good 20 inch plus trout. He gets so excited. I, I would love to see his reaction with a really big fish. He honestly gets as excited as when he's elk hunting. So when, if you've watched our elk hunting videos, you know how jacked up he gets. He does the same thing on trout fishing. It's crazy to think, but a big fish can get you pumped up almost as much as elk. Not quite, but close. Twin brother, the oh, one I yeah, just caught. That is incredible. Oh my gosh! Look at the color. It's, so it's got, beautiful. It's got more blush in it than the one I just caught. Does, yeah. We know it's obviously just a little darker. Obviously a different fish. Guys, <laughs> I literally just said it, I, the Dude. goal is for Casey to catch a fish. I'm not even joking you. 30 seconds after just Logan stopped. Just think about how it. this took place. <laughs> We got, we were trying to get over to this island so we could walk up here. It was not panning out, hit a couple rocks, finally got the boat anchored. Chell tries to jump out, it's too deep, gets out, and then he turns around, he's like, no one else wants to come? We're like, no, go ahead, man. He's like, well, let's just go then if no one else wants to fish. And we said, you better go catch a big one. Dude, that could have went either way is what I'm trying to say. I'm shaking. Okay, let's get him up into the grass so we're not sorry. This is uh, 20. Four, uh, almost 24, 23 and three quarters. Biggest trout I've ever caught on a fire rod. Yes, dude. Okay, let's get some good skills. Let this bad boy go. Lift him up a little bit. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Here he goes. The fish in case he's not. Mission accomplished, yeah, dude. Buddy. Mission accomplished. That's all. That's all. He takes one. Or wow. two in a row. That was insane. Go yeah. catch them. They're, they're stacked in there. They're stacked in there. That was freaking Four money. Four. I can't believe literally. I, we you guys just, are still interviewing while I, when yeah. I went out there. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go Logan just them. hit stop when I said the rest of the trip is dedicated to Casey catching a big fish. And it was like, stop, hook set. Awesome. I'm just glad that I, so I have a tendency of losing on? big fish. <laughs> Getting them close, horsing them too much. That was a good. My legs were shaking when I was trying to get him in. Shaking.
Guys, uh, you all know how much Casey hates snakes. I just found a package. He's walking back to the camp spot. I'm gonna go surprise him with it. Here we go. Who did that? I knew you were doing something down there by the river, Brian. <laughs> Why is this kind of a garter snake? <laughs> I thought it fell out of my freaking waiter. Like it'd been in my waiter all day, I hanging. I hope it crawls in your bag. <laughs> you haven't moved that fast in ages. You should have seen the look on his face. He looked at me, dude. He looked like this. I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, man. You hate snakes. I hate you too now. <laughs> <laughs>